London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today we are talking about the new Elton John biopic, Rocket Man. Starring Taron Edgerton, this film is an uncensored, epic musical fantasy about Elton John and his rise to stardom. Before we get into it, consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments so we can talk about Rocket Man together. One of the first things that really stood out to me about this movie is that it is not your typical biopic. This truly is a musical about Elton John's life set to his own music. They really took full advantage of the songs and lyrics and set them up perfectly to reflect what was going on in the story. And there were some really key emotional moments in this film, so that just made the lyrics have even more deeper meaning. And Taron Edgerton isn't the only person singing these songs. We get to see everyone kind of chime in. They really kind of spread them out and have all the different characters singing at different points to move the story along. In fact, it honestly feels like a huge musical production that I would not be surprised to see on Broadway someday. And Taron Edgerton really transforms in the role of Elton John. He really plays both sides of Elton John, you know, kind of the more sullen side, the more fantastical sides of him, so perfectly. He has this really wonderful energy and passion about him, and his musical performances just felt so vibrant. And it even felt really full circle for Taron Edgerton to be playing Elton John after performing Elton's I'm Still Standing back in the 2016 animated musical. Sing. Visually, cinematically, sonically, Rocket Man is such a joy to watch. They truly give us a fantasy. Elton John, who actually serves as a producer on this film, had two requests. One was that they give the film an R rating. He didn't want them to tone down the sex, drugs, and rock and roll that he experienced in his life. You know, he wanted to tell his true story and his true struggles. And he also insisted on this fantasy musical element versus a straightforward biopic. He said that as a kid, he really lived in his own head, and then when his career took off, it just didn't feel real. And he really wanted to capture that energy, and I think that they really did with this film. The visuals and editing feel very whimsical and reflect the stylistic life that he leads with the lavish costumes and the even more larger than life editing. They use a lot of these moments as metaphors to explain other things going on in his life, and they took a lot of liberties to make things just feel more breathtaking. You know, we get to see little Elton conducting a full on orchestra from the comfort of his bedroom, or we see a rising star Elton and his audience literally floating with euphoria at his first performance at the Troubadour. Or Elton actually blasting off with smoke and fireworks during Rocket Man. They just really brought to life the creativity and imagination that lives inside this incredible man. And you can just tell that Rocket Man is a labor of love as they really dive into all of the different aspects of Elton John's life, from his family issues to his rising stardom to the internal struggles that he deals with of feeling like he's not enough or that he does not like himself to his exploration of his sexuality and coming out. I loved getting a chance to learn more about his career and I thought it was so incredible incredible to find out that he and his writing partner Bernie have been working together for decades now. That is definitely a strong partnership and a strong friendship. One of the biggest themes of this film that really stood out to me that stuck with me is Elton's journey to find real love, whether that be romantic or familial. And one of the most powerful scenes that really spoke to me was the end of the film when we see Elton come face to face with his younger self and really embrace himself. I kind of got a sense that this was him coming to terms with, you know, accepting who he is accepting his past, accepting what he's been dealt, and moving forward. Learning not only to create the kind of person that he wants to be, but to love himself. Which ultimately later on leads to him finding his true love in his husband. But as RuPaul would say, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? To me, this film really followed the trials and tribulations of someone just struggling to find out who they are and to be themselves and to love themselves. And we really went on this incredible journey where we got to see see Elton finally find his self-worth and his self-love. I think that that's a really beautiful message. There are two small issues about this film that I want to mention that are really not a huge deal, but one of them for me was the pacing was a little bit fast at times. You know, there's so much going on in this guy's life. How are you going to pack it all into two hours? So there was a couple of moments where I was like, whoa, that was pretty quick, okay. Like for instance, when we get to see Elton's first marriage, that felt a little bit rushed to me. And then the very, very end of this film, we get to do one of those like credit scenes where they show us where Elton John is now which was really cool to see, you know, all that he's achieved, but I will say it was a little bit cheesy just to kind of see that little montage. But one of the other things I really enjoyed was at the very end, if you stay a little bit after the credits, you get to see the looks that were in this film versus the original looks that Elton John wore back in the day and how they compared. And I thought that was really cool to see the details and how close they were and just how incredible those outfits were. The color, the energy, the vibrancy, the costumes that 
theme of, you know, finding self-love and of course the music. Rocket Man really feels like a true representation of Elton John and his career. And you know, I feel like everyone has an Elton John song or a project that they just love. For me, I'm a huge fan of his musical theater journey, you know, with The Lion King and Aida and oh, Aida's one of my favorite shows ever. So I would love to know what Elton John song or project really speaks to you. If you like this video, you can check out more of my movie reviews over here and drop down in the comments to continue the conversation. I cannot wait to hear what you guys thought about Rocket Man. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. Alright, see ya!